Thank you for your interest in Nail Your Niche, the five-day challenge to define your perfect course topic, brought to you by the Course Launchpad. And even if you're not interested in creating courses yet, you still need to have a niche. And so we're gonna be talking about that during this challenge. We're just gonna be talking about nailing your niche it will be tied to creating a course, but we're still gonna be talking about the general aspects of nailing your niche. So I just wanna talk about why you need a niche. Why do you need to have a niche? When you have a niche, you have a foundation to stand on. You have a way of differentiating yourself from the other coaches and other courses out there. When you have a niche, you will know your ideal student or your ideal client know their pains, their challenges, and that this means that when you know them and you know them intimately like that, you can craft messages that capture their attention and get them to say, that's me, you get me, I need to work with you because you get me and you're different. You need a niche so you can stand out. I'm a very visual person. Hence why I do a lot of slide presentations. But I created this um, because this is kind of how it, it works in my mind. So think about no niche. When you don't have a niche, your client flow just kind of flows across the top of you and your offering. There's no way to, to capture anything. It's just you're just kind of lumped in the other buckets of coaches or lumped in the other buckets of courses offering out there. But if you know your niche and you have your niche, your client flow gets caught. It, there, you create this niche, this carve out that you can create um, a space to be able to, to capture that ideal student and that ideal um, client that you're looking for. And it's, it's out there. I mean, this is, this is very important. It's, I'm going to talk about some examples here in a second. So The Long Tail by Chris Anderson. He's the editor in chief of Wired Magazine. He details this interesting phenomenon that's called the long tail, and this is what's going on right now. So according to Anderson, this is the long tail kind of in a nutshell. The theory is, is that our culture and economy is increasingly shifting from a focus on relatively small number of hits, mainstream products and markets, at the head of the demand curve, towards a huge number of niches in the tail. As the costs of production and distribution fall, especially online, there is less need to lump products and customers into a one size fits all container. In an era with in an era without the constraints of physical shelf space and other bottlenecks of distribution, narrowly targeting goods and services can be as economically attractive as mainstream fare. So that's quote unquote from Anderson. So let's just look at this in like real life terms. This is an example I found online. This is an example of how being specific provides less competition and higher probability of conversion to a client or, or an actual student. So I want you to feel more comfortable speaking to your niche, not the masses. Then there's a higher rate of conversion or sales when you have a more specific offering. This example is a long tail of search engine phrases, but it provides a really good illustration of niches. So I'm sure all of us have kind of done different search engine, um, you know, searches for things. So this is a, just a general example for shoes. So if you just type in shoes into your search engine, you're going to get a ton of, this is on the far left. You can see word, one word phrase, shoes. You have a lot of competition because it's going to come up with tons of like unrelated things you're not looking for. It's going to come up with, um, you know, clown shoes or horseshoes or, you know, all sorts of crazy things. And that's not going to be helpful for you. So then you're going to refine your search further. Be specific. You want men's shoes. Okay. So that's helping. That's, you know, getting closer to where you're looking for. Um, the, the more specific you can be, more probability that you're going to find what you're looking for. And this goes true for your students and your clients as well. So you're looking for red Nikes, men's shoes, running shoes. That's what you want. So, you know, that's what, say, your example is, you know, you're offering coaching 
and you're offering relationship coaching for newlyweds and communication issues. You know, those are more specific type things, or maybe it's, you know, second marriage, uh, newlyweds or something like that. You know, you just need to find that ability to create instead of just coach. You want to create those specific descriptive phrases of who you are and what you offer. And this is going to speak directly to your ideal student. It's going to create a higher conversion rate into enrollment into your course or a, as a client um, to engage with you for coaching. And please don't be worried about playing in this long tail because there are plenty of students and plenty of clients looking for what you have to offer. So it's really important for you to be okay playing in the long tail. And it's about the platinum rule. Forget about the golden rule, about what, you know, how you want to be treated. When it comes to engaging with your clients, it's about the platinum rule. You want to ask them what they want and then deliver it to them. Don't make assumptions about what they want. Your ideal clients are willing to tell you what they want. And when you listen to them and then you deliver what they told you, you become a superstar. Kat Kinnett, she did a book review of David Steele's book, The Million Dollar Private Practice. She says, when you find the niche that lights your fire and you ask its members what they need and listen to the answers, you will be standing on the foundation from which any action you take will make your coaching practice feel like a million bucks. This is the power of creating a niche. Don't be afraid of getting too specific. In Choice Magazine, they had a whole, you know, obviously you saw the whole um, magazine was about niches. Um, Craig Carr at PCC highlights that you must trust that there are more clients the narrower you focus, not less. In his experience, this is one of the biggest mindset hurdles to overcome in building your expert niche presence. So I want you to be the big fish in the small pond. This does two things. People will actually listen to you, welcome you into their circle, and you'll start to build a following based on trust and respect for what you have to offer. And two, you will become a subject matter specialist on the topic, and you will be the go-to person. You will start to have organic promotion from others within this group because your ideal students and your ideal clients are probably hanging out with other ideal students and other ideal clients. So you will start to be referred. So this really reinforces the need to have a specific subject specialty. And this is what I call your secret sauce. And we'll get into this in the five day challenge. So think about it. When somebody promotes themselves as an executive coach or life coach, most people just categorize you into a big bucket with the rest of the coaches they've known. But if you're a coach who works with female vice presidents going through a life transition, then you're different and they put you in your own category. And then maybe that person isn't your ideal you know, niche student or client, but maybe they know somebody and then they'll refer you because they know that's who you focus on. So another way to look at it is from the medical field. Would you rather see a family doctor if you're diagnosed with a rare disorder or a top specialist for treatment? When you know your niche, it's also inspiring to you. Your niche must be customized to you. This means it's aligned with your personality, your passions, your values, your strengths. It's time to stop spinning your wheels and working with clients that aren't aligned with your highest and best. When you know your niche, you create uncontested marketplace. You create that blue ocean and you're engaging with your ideal clients by providing them a transformation that they want and need. And this provides you a deeper sense of purpose, inspiration, and the ability to earn what you're worth. So here's just a little bit about me. My name is Malia Monaco. I am an ICF certified coach. I hold a master's degree in clinical mental health counseling. I'm a former mental health counselor. I'm a BA in psychology. I am an entrepreneur and passionate course creator. 
And I have fallen in love with creating courses. And now I have found this amazing niche and passion for me to be able to help other coaches create courses to change more lives, including their own. So join me and fellow coaches starting this Sunday, that Sunday, September 10th. By the end of the week, you'll know your niche. Even if you're not interested in creating a course yet, knowing your niche will redefine your coaching practice. For more information and to register, go to nailyournichechallenge.com and register there. We're going to do five days of about 15 minutes a day. You're going to get just a little five minute video, informational video. You're going to have a little worksheet and then we're going to go online. There's going to be a Facebook group that's just for this challenge and we're going to engage there. We're going to share ideas. We're going to help each other, support each other and have accountability. At the end of the five days, we're going to do a webinar, put it all together and I want you to be able to rock and roll and know your niche. So let's nail your niche together. Go to nail your niche challenge.com and I'll see you then. Thanks.